yes, that we have many of. Uh, American uh, military, uh, to our French civilian and military distinguished guests, to our Germans and all of our allies and friends, uh, thank you and uh, welcome. And most of all, uh, to the veterans uh, sitting right in front of me uh, from D-Day. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen. You honor us with your attendance. Thank you very much. I'm honored to speak as we observe the 75th anniversary of the Normandy invasion. Thank you for the opportunity and for the great French hospitality shown to the paratroopers of this brigade as we visit this legendary area and celebrate the memory of Captain Rex Combs and what the other paratroopers did that day. My name is Colonel Art Sellers. I'm the commander of 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 82nd Airborne Division, which is the modern day unit of the 505th commanded by the legendary General Gavin, who we have his family here with us today, as well as of 1st Battalion of the 508th Infantry Regiment. The unit Rex Combs was assigned to when on the night of June 5, 1944, he boarded a transport aircraft to participate in the airborne assault of Nazi-held Normandy, France. Today I have with me present-day paratroopers of A Company, 1st of the 508th Parachute Infantry Regiment, Fury from the Sky. Like Captain Rex Combs and his paratroopers of 75 years ago, they are also two-time volunteers, volunteering to serve at a time of war and volunteering to serve in the Airborne. 25 other paratroopers from Company A, 1st of the 508, jumped with Rex, but a dreadful navigational error placed them about 2,500 yards east of their designated drop zone, placing them near the German town of Wiley. After gaining their bearing, Rex and his little group of paratroopers fought their way back to rejoin the 82nd Airborne. Along the way, they destroyed four German anti-aircraft guns and fought numerous Nazi combat elements, all without losing a single paratrooper, including here in Shady Palm. Rex Combs was awarded a Silver Star for his actions. Read, though wounded in the plane by flak prior to the jump, Rex attacked with such speed and ferociousness and was successful in killing over 21 of the enemy and causing 59 to surrender. Today, the men and women of 1st of the 508th and 3rd Brigade continue to uphold the tradition of the American paratrooper, a tradition calling us to be ready at a moment's notice to jump, fight, and win on any drop zone in the world, alongside our allies for the cause of liberty. We will always remain ready to step out of the airplane in the dark of night, competent and lethal against the enemies of our nation and our allies. In closing, the memory of Captain Rex Combs lives on not just in this memorial, not just in the marker here commemorating his actions, but in the spirit of the American paratrooper. Thank you again for this opportunity, airborne all the way, H-minus ready.